What's going on with it, YouTube? Bully World, GTB back at you again. Uh, mosquitoes are biting, so I got to hurry up and get off my mind here, man. Um, I did something today, y'all. I did a little experiment, right? Because y'all all know my motto over here, structure over color all day, every day. Any day of the week, structure over color, right? So I wanted to see how random people would pick between two dogs, two totally different class of American Bully and two totally different colors. Now, I didn't go up and ask like dog men or people who are into dog. Well, a lot of people that I asked to have dogs, but they, they don't, they know next to nothing about the American Bully uh, or, or they don't know much about the American Bully at all, put it that way. And uh, I didn't ask anyone who actually breeds the American Bully, right? Just random people, random people. Uh, just to see who they would choose, what dog they would choose, and why, right? So I took two random dogs that I got off the internet. I don't know who owns these dogs, uh, and I'll put the pictures over here somewhere. And the first thing that I put in, I typed in was Blue Tri Merle, classic American Bully, right? And then after I just picked a random picture, I typed in Black Pocket Extreme American Bully, right? And I picked a random picture, right? Like, again, don't know who owns these dogs. Just random pictures that I picked off the internet. So I went up to nine people today at work. Nine co-workers, right? And I put both those dogs in front of them on my phone. I said, well, what, which one would you pick and why? First person I went to was like, oh, man, I like that cattle, that, that, that cattle looking dog. The ones that's got the markings like a cattle dog. You know what I'm saying? And. I was like, so that's the only reason why? Yeah, because the, 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 the color on it, the pattern is beautiful. I said, now look at both these dogs now before. And some of them didn't even, you know, take a second look at the Black Pocket Extreme, who looks really, really nice. You know, they may not be into their style of dog to each their own. You know, everybody has their preference. But they were saying, oh, I want that dog because of the color or the pattern. Or, it, you know, it looks like a cattle dog, man. It's a, that's a nice pit bull. I'm like, it's not a pit bull. It's an American bully. There's a difference. There was not one person out of those nine people who would pick the dog that I think structure-wise structure -wise looks way better. Structurally, way better. Miles ahead. But, you know, I like Pocket Extreme, so that's my preference. But the main reason why they picked that classic dog is because it was a blue tri Merle. They didn't care anything about the confirmation. Like like that blue tri Merle, that classic Merle, there ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that dog. I mean, it had a nice top line. You know what I'm saying? Didn't didn't have a high rear, you know, had a good bite, long snout though. But you know what I'm saying? It it just wasn't bully enough for me. But there was one person, there was one guy that said, you know, if that black dog had this type of pattern and color then I would definitely be Kim, but I got to go with this other dog because, you know, I like the pattern and the color. Listen, the reason why Nezuko was the last out of that litter is because she was black. People slept on her because she was black. Why people do that, I don't know. It's people's preference whether or not they pick color over structure. That's your preference. But do you know how easy it is to get color in your program? If you have a female, breed to a male with color. If you have a male, breed to a female with color. And you will get color just like that. It is not hard. It's probably the easiest thing you can do to get out of your American Bully is color. So why people would pass up a beautiful structured American Bully... Just because it's a black dog or a color you don't necessarily like. Because you like those wild colors, man. You like them funs. You like them ghost tribes. You like the merles. You know, okay. That's all good. And, uh, and you know, and I already got color. People say, man, B, when you going to get I got color. I got color. Do you know Nezuko's father's all white? And her mother's a, a trendle? Do you know Jago? Mother is fun with a blue, with excuse me, with a tri gene. Do you know that Jago's dad is a blue tri? We already got color. So when I take Jago to Nezuko, 
we're going to have all kinds of colors. Will there be some black dogs somewhere in there or some black tribes somewhere in there? I think so, most definitely. But I don't think the thing going to be no funds or no blue tribes. There's going to be some tribes, point blank, period. Point blank, period. There's going to be some tribes in there. Lord willing, everything go right. So we already got color and I already knew that. And whether or not, you know, I didn't have color, I still would have picked Nezuko up because I ain't studying color. I don't chase color. I chase structure, confirmation, man, health. So for those out there who, <laughs> and I can understand why these people pick that blue trimural because they don't have a breeder's mentality. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't understand why people sleep on black dogs, you know, or certain color dogs just because you want them crazy colors and them patterns. You can get that. It's not hard. Man, I tell you what, y'all keep passing up the black dogs or any other color dog you don't like because, I mean, it's all about structure to me. That's how I landed in Ezekiel. Love it. Respect. Pray for me. I'll pray for y'all.